We are just days away from what's expected to be an intense rally in Richmond. Gun rights activists, as well as groups supporting Democratic-sponsored gun legislation, are both expected to show up in force on Monday. Turn on your sides. Andy Fox has been following this issue very closely. He joins us in the studio now. And Andy, the governor is trying to keep guns away from the Capitol as best as possible, at least for a few days. So how does that stand tonight? He says he needs to protect the peace. And what we are hearing now is that there is an effort to have what he wanted and was upheld, to have it overturned by the state Supreme Court. That's what they're looking to do. But the gun rights side is trying to get that state Supreme Court overturned. That decision, no decision, no word on that yet. On Monday, we are expecting two one-hour rallies, one for no new gun control and one for reasonable gun control. And the both sides will be meeting, and that's what everyone's worried about. Security will be tight in and around Capitol Square. Extra fencing going up around the state capitol. Chaos and even violence is feared at Monday's pro-gun rally after the Charlottesville Unite the Right rally turned out members of white nationalists and neo-Nazis and Klansmen in 2017. And Charlottesville is a big reason why the public is crying out for this. Crying out for new laws. This week, state senators passed one gun a month and background checks on private sales of firearms. Monday's rally is in part for gun rights activists to say we are opposed to those new laws. On Monday, a smaller gun lobby reached out to Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, who for over 20 minutes engaged with a pro-gun crowd. You guys are going to do what you want. Can I have your word before anything is shoved down our throat? Yeah. It will be the right way, not ramrodded, not, oh, we got control, we can do what we want. Yeah, because we'll, can I have your word that that will occur? You because have Virginia, my word. What is the point you're trying to make to the pro-gun advocates? Well, I'm not necessarily trying to make a point. I, I'm just trying to make the point that we can, uh, you know, have discussions, we can be civil, uh, we can listen to each other. Will it be civil on Monday? Can there be civility? Can they listen to each other? Oh, those are all questions that will play out, and we will, of course, be there. We don't really know what's going to happen tonight. More on what we can expect in Richmond and what the city and state are doing to protect the peace. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.